can you capture good looking underwater video with the new iPhone 13 Pro? That's the question that we'll look at in today's video. Coming up. Hey there underwater filmmakers, welcome to the Underwater Filmmaking School. Thank you so much for tuning in again to today's video. Now ever since the new iPhone 13 Pro came out, I was very curious to find out how good the improved camera really is for taking videos underwater. Luckily, I had the chance to test out my new iPhone 13 Pro in a sport diver, a Sea Life sport diver smartphone housing um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, in one occasion during my documentation of the World Championship in Puerto Santo, so in blue water, as well as obviously here in the Lake of Zurich, which is greenish water. Now, before I get into my findings of my first impression using that phone to film underwater, let's have together a look at some of the example clips that I was able to capture. Here they come. So, what do you think of the example footage that you just saw? I personally have to say that I have been immensely impressed by the quality of the footage that comes out of the iPhone 13 Pro. And that's even without or prior to the update that enables the iPhone to capture in uh, ProRes 10-bit 422. So just with the normal standard codex that is on here, I think that the iPhone 13 Pro is already producing some really good results. I was particularly impressed by how far you can actually push the footage in post-production in terms of color correction and color grading. Here is a couple of the example clips that you saw beforehand, ungraded this time, right out of the camera, and right next to them, the same clips graded as you've seen them before. I got the feeling that the footage is holding up really well, even after having pushed it quite intensely into a certain direction to get the look that I really wanted. The really good thing about using the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing is that you can use all three different camera lenses of your iPhone 13 Pro or any phone really that has a variety of different lenses available. This is crucial so that you can actually choose and use the appropriate lens for whatever you're trying to film underwater. Now you can get some really good macro shots with the iPhone 13 Pro just because with the ultra wide lens you can get really close to stuff. The minimal focusing distance is very, very short, but you have to keep it very stable. And that's a bit difficult with such a small piece of equipment in your hands while being underwater and diving. I strongly recommend you get a tray uh, and maybe some flotation devices to get your entire system more neutrally buoyant. 
Also, if you want to capture macro footage with it, I recommend you get a tripod to go along with it so you can actually set it somewhere in the sand and capture some nice looking stable footage that way. Aside from these couple of issues or difficulties, I really found the use of the iPhone 13 Pro in the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing just very good. Um, I enjoyed using it, I think the results are very good and I can't wait to take it with me on the upcoming trip to Egypt now that I have also downloaded the new firmware update um, on the iPhone 13 Pro which enables the ProRes feature on it. So while we're down in Egypt I'm definitely going to test it out and give you guys a feedback on what I find and how I like the new ProRes codec on the iPhone 13 Pro for filming underwater. And that pretty much wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching guys. If there's any questions regarding today's video, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. And if this video was useful to you, if you've got something out of it, please do not forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any of the great content that will be published here in the near future. There's gonna be detailed reviews on the iPhone 13 Pro. This was really only just the first impression video, but there's gonna be more detailed reviews on the iPhone 13 Pro, especially using it with the new ProRes codec that has been released with the latest um, update on the iPhone 13 Pro. Also, there's gonna be a detailed review on the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing, and I will share with you my thoughts on what I like and what I dislike about using this particular housing for filming underwater with your smartphone. So until next time, happy bubbles, enjoy capturing your underwater adventures, and I will see you in the next video.